All right, guys, this is problem that says the vent rod is supported at A, B, and C by smooth journal bearings, determine the magnitude of F, which will cause a positive X component of reaction at the bearing C to be CX, 15 newtons. The bearings are in proper alignment with an exert only force reactions on the rod. So, first let's draw the free body diagram. We got this reaction, CX, which we know is 50 newtons. And then we got this reaction, CY. For B, we have B on the C and B on the Y. For A, we have A on the C and A on the X. And I think that's it, yeah, there are no more forces in the system. So the, f the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna break down F into components. So let's say F into Cartesian components. So F, we're gonna have an F of X, an F of Y, and an F of C. Now F of X is equal to the magnitude of F times cosine of 60 times cosine of 30. Why? Because this, right here is f cosine of 60 and the x component is f i mean it's this line right here which is f cosine of 60 times the cosine of 30 so you got f you do the cosine of 60 and then you do the cosine of 30 and that gives you 0 0.4330 f for f of y is f cosine of 60 sine of 30 because f of y is this line right here so it's first f cosine x 60 times the sine of 30, and that is equal to 0.25f. And f of c is f sine of 60. And actually it's negative f sine of 60 because it's going down, which is minus 0.866f because it's this line right here. And this is all just basic trigonometry. So the first thing I always tell you to do is just do the sum of the forces in X, Y, and C, because that usually gives you a bunch of equations that can give you an idea on what can be the next steps. So in the X, we have A of X plus 50 plus 0 0.4330F equals to zero. I'm going to call this equation one. We got to be organized because there's a lot of playing with equations and a lot of different equations until we finally get to an answer. So I'm just gonna put a number to each of them. So in the Y, we have BY plus CY plus 0.25F is equal to zero. Calling this equation two. And on the C, we have AZ plus BC minus 0.866F is equal to zero. And that is equation three. So don't just follow me along just to, for you to understand what we're trying to do here. We are basically have one of the reactions, which is CX is equal to 50, and they're asking us about F. So ideally, we're, we're trying to get F in terms of CX, so we will be able to solve for F. Now, obviously, it's not that simple because there's a lot of reactions, so we're going to with CX equal to 50, we're going to start solving for all of the other reactions like BC, BY, AX, and IC until I finally can get F in terms of CX. And that, that's basically what I'm gunning for here. And for that, I'm just going to keep writing equations and, until, and mixing them up with each other until I finally get there. That's pretty much what I did for this problem. And there was a little bit of trial and error, but I'll show you the path that allowed me to get there, even though there are other paths that you can do. Now, I have three equations, right? And I have one variable, two variables, three variables, four variables, five variables, six variables. And obviously this is not gonna work. So let's just keep finding equations. Now I know that some of the moments about the X is also equal to zero, right? And that means that AC, now when I'm doing some of the moments about the X is as if I was looking this way and counterclockwise is positive. So AC times two, and that would be negative because it's trying to turn it uh, clockwise, 
minus cy times 2 is equal to 0. Now this means that ac is equal to negative cy. Call the equation 4. Some of the moments about the y is equal to 0, as if I was looking down the positive y-axis and counterclockwise is positive. And that means that bc times 1 plus cx times 2 is equal to 0. Uh, that means that bc is equal to minus 2 cx. But I know cx. cx is 50. So that means that bc is equal to negative 100 newtons. The fact that it's negative, it means that it's going in the uh, in the opposite direction. It's not going towards the positive y, it's going uh, towards the positive, um, I mean towards the negative y. So still still we don't have enough equations to solve this, but let's just keep going. Just happy that we found one variable. So some of the moments about the c is equal to zero, and that means that uh, ax times 2 minus, and sorry I forgot to repeat, that this is as if I was looking from the positive c-axis, as if I start my eye with the positive c-axis and I was looking down. So ax times 2 minus by times 1 minus cy times 1.75 is equal to 0. So let me just write this a little prettier. Minus by minus 1.75 cy is equal to 0. We keep having equations. So this one I'm going to label equation 5 and this one I'm going to label equation 6 just to make it easy to explain. Now I'm going to start like messing with these equations. I'm going to start like plugging equations in into other equations until I get to where I want to be. And again this is like trial and error if when you're doing the problem yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get equation 5 and I'm going to plug it into equation 3. Now equation 5 is BC, so I'm plugging BC into equation 3, and that gives me AC is equal to 100 plus 0.866F. And this is equation 7. Now I'm going to plug in equation 7 into equation 4. This is CY is equal to minus 100 minus 0.866F. I'm going to call this equation 8. Now if I plug in equation 8 into equation 2, I get that BY minus 100 minus 0.866F plus 0.25F is equal to 0. And that means that BY is equal to 0.616f plus 100. And we are at equation 9, and I swear we're almost there, guys, because it took me a little bit to do this problem with the equations, but it's almost, it's almost over. So then I get equation 8 and equation 9, and I plug them into equation 6, and I basically get 2ax, let me actually, I want to put some lines of separation here to make it clear, make sure that I'm not messing up, 2ax minus by minus 1.75cy is equal to 0, right, this is this is uh, equation 6, I'm just rewriting it here, so I'm going to start replacing stuff now, 2ax minus 0.616f minus 100, that's negative by, minus 1.75 times CY, which is minus 100 minus 0.866F is equal to 0. So let's just keep solving this. We get 2AX minus 0.616F minus 100, distributed property, which is plus 175, because negative times a negative is a positive, plus 1.5155F is equal to 0. That means that 2ax is equal to minus 0.4, uh, oops, sorry, sorry, skip the line here, uh, eraser, 
back to pen apologies uh to a x minus is equal to minus 0.8995 f minus 75 ax is equal to minus 0.4475 f minus 75 and this is equation 10 and now we're going to do the very last step which is plug equation 10 into equation 1 and that's basically going to give us f because we're going to be able to solve for f let me add a page for that Now, if I plug in equation 10 into equation 1, ax plus 50 plus 0.433f is equal to 0. And then when we plug it in, we get negative 0.44975f minus 37.5 plus 50 plus 0.433f is equal to 0. This is minus 0 0.01675F is equal to minus 12.5. This means that F is equal to 746.27. And this is in newtons because it was given in newtons. So final answer for F if CX is equal to 50. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.